we have this big time jump and Barry and Sally are living under new names and they're raising a son somewhere out in the middle of nowhere. You know, your dad used to get mad a lot. Eventually I was able to control those feelings and when I had you, I changed. What's Barry's state of mind at that point? Because he seems maybe more content than we've ever seen him, but um, he's in a bit of denial too. Yeah, he's in heaven. In, you know, it's it's it kind of set up in the first episode with, you know, him as a kid running across a similar landscape and he met Fuchs in that landscape. And now he can raise a family in that landscape and it's a very safe place for him. It looks like they're on the surface of the moon. <laughs> yeah. And he's become very religious. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you, pal. He can't really find redemption with anybody else, so he's he's turned to God for redemption. But again, I don't think he really fully understands religion. <laughs> no. I think he kind of, he likes the idea of it rather than participating in it and really understanding it. He is in very much denial, but he's very much trying to paint the version of himself that he wants to be to his son. His biggest concern is how his son sees him. And how his son sees him is, I think, how he always wanted to be seen by everybody. Yeah. You know, that's his big driving force through the latter half of the season is maintaining this upright, perfect uh, Joe American thing. What's Sally's state of mind at that point? Because it seems like she's safe, but she's not really happy. I think those things are very true. She's safe <laughs> and miserable. Um, <laughs> she's got herself very much trapped in a pretty brutal environment, but she's in some ways resigned to it and in other ways drinking her way through, which is maybe part of the resignation. <laughs> um, <laughs> but when we get into episode five and we see her working as Emily, the waitress, I think yeah. like there is a callback to Sally's old self in that She's like, if I'm going to live in the middle of nowhere and live this miserable life, I'm going to go to work every day and give the acting performance of my career. And she wears the wig and the nails and um, has the accent, which at this point in their runaway game is totally unnecessary. Um, but she's <laughs> like, I am going to play this part. And in many ways, it's like the part, you know, it's like mm -hmm. everybody wants to play the small town kind of um, lost soul with the drinking problem. And so she's she's going full <laughs> method on it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <sighs> it's real stressful. I didn't even think about that. That's really like another acting performance for her, but that's great. Totally. And it's like, I think it's the only thing breathing any oxygen into her is that she can have that performance. But I think the rest of it is, yeah, she's miserable. I think that motherhood was something that she would never have walked towards. That very much feels like Barry's choosing. Like when I try to picture her birth, I'm like, what happened there? I feel like that's like a black <laughs> She's not taken to motherhood under these circumstances. And I think she's restless living in the middle of nowhere with somebody who she knows is not well. And she's not buying into this like faux religious existence. She's just kind of coasting on through, downing the vodka. 